Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Trendy Spotlight. 6. Star Trek Picard Season 1 Episode 2 Maps and Legends Despite several references to the Days Trom Institute over the years, Star Trek Picard Season Episode 1 Remembrance was the first time that the institution was seen on screen. In Maps and Legends, more is revealed about the role the Days Trom Institute played in the first contact day attacks. As the androids responsible for the attack were created at the Institute, it continues a trend of misused synthetic lifeforms associated with Dr. Richard Daystrom, but as he wasn't directly responsible for the attack on Mars, his legacy is ensured. For all that, Picard reveals about the Daystrom Institute's cybernetics division. Maps and Legends is far from being the best. It's an overstuffed episode that struggled to balance events on the Borg artifact with Picard's investigation and also featured Picard's controversial cursing fleet admiral, Kirsten Clancy, played by Anne Magnuson. There would be a far stronger episode about the state of Daystrom's legacy in Picard Season 3, which heralded a significant shift in quality for the spin-off. Number 5. Star Trek The Next Generation Season 3 Episode 6 Booby Trap To help extricate the USS Enterprise D from an ancient trap set by the Menthars, Lieutenant Commander Jordi LaForge sought assistance from Professor Leibrams, who taught theoretical physics at the Daystrom Institute of Technology. Brams had also played an integral role in the design and construction of the Enterprise, which is why Jordy believed that a holographic reconstruction of her workspace may give him the answers to escaping the Menthar Trap. Booby Trap has become a slightly controversial episode given Jordy's romantic attraction toward the holographic Leah and the replicated Brams' lack of agency. However, it's an episode that reaffirms the importance of the Daystrom Institute in the research and development of Starfleet's Armada. Interestingly, in the early development of the episode, Leah Brams was initially intended to be Navid Daystrom, a descendant of the legendary Dr. Richard Daystrom, who had given the Institute its name. Number 4. Star Trek Lower Deck Season 2 Episode 7 where pleasant fountains lie. In Star Trek Lower Deck Season 2 Episode 7, Ensign's Brad Boimier and Beckett Mariner were tasked with delivering a malevolent computer to a Daystrom Institute. Given the legacy of their genius computer scientist, it's unsurprising that Daystrom would have a designated section of the Institute for Megalomaniacal Artificial Intelligences. The evil computer en route to Daystrom is Agamus, who took advantage of a crash landing to pit Boimir and Mariner against each other. Boimir was able to outwit Agamus by playing along with the megalomaniacal computer scheme to be connected to a larger computer network with which to spread his influence. Boimir wired Agamus to a dimmer switch on a derelict starship, hilariously proving that artificial intelligence is still several steps behind human ingenuity and cunning even in the 24th century. Agamus was then successfully interred at the Daystrom Institute's self-aware megalomaniacal computer storage facility, where he is currently planning revenge against Boimler and Mariner by instigating a Star Trek robot rebellion. Number 3. Star Trek Picard Season 3 Episode 6 The Bounty The dark-sided Richard Daystrom's legacy was revealed in Star Trek Picard Season 3 Episode 6 The Bounty. With a trip to the Federation Black Site Daystrom Station, the facility was home to some of the Federation's darkest secrets including the torture of Captain Vatic and her fellow changelings, and a resurrected Data who was effectively set to work as a security drone stripped off his agency. Daystrom Station also housed a genetically modified attack Tribble and a devastating portal weapon that Vatic used against the USS Titan A. 2. Star Trek TOS Season 2 Episode 24 The Ultimate Computer 
The only Star Trek episode to feature the actual Dr. Richard Daystrom is The Ultimate Computer, when the scientific genius installs an experimental new computer aboard the USS Enterprise. The intention is for the new M5 computer to effectively automate starships going forward. Predictably, the experiments go very badly wrong. When M5 becomes unstable and is unable to differentiate between reality and the battle simulations it's participating in, this leads to the deaths of hundreds of Starfleet officers serving aboard the USS Lexington and USS Excalibur. It becomes clear that in programming M5 with his own neutral patterns, Daystrom has passed his own psychological condition to the computer with tragic results. Although the ultimate computer was first broadcast nearly 60 years ago, the idea of artificial intelligence inheriting the prejudices and personalities of its creators is incredibly relevant to the world of today. 1. Star Trek TNG Season 2 Episode 9 The Measure of a Man the best Star Trek episode about the Daystrom Institute and the fields in which Dr. Daystrom made his name is Star Trek The Next Generation's The Measure of a Man. It takes the core idea of the ultimate computer, the agency of artificial intelligence, but flips it so that the story is told from the perspective of the AI itself. In this case, it's the Enterprise's resident android Lieutenant Commander Data. Brent Spinner, who has attracted the attention of Commander Bruce Maddox, who wished to take data back to Daystrom for dismantling and analysis. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.